Music Initiative. So that was very, very positive. There's a lot of well, what, the positive things about South Africa. Is, as you know, they have, they have great voices, <laughs> great well, music, and things. In fact, a lot of people have come from the Eastern Cape, where I am now. Mm -hmm. But there's no real opportunities there. But they only really have, if I can put it this, they only really have the church and the shabin. You know, and alcohol. Is okay. Uh, you know, uh, alcohol, alcohol, and religion. You know, the, the the two drugs. Yeah, the two drugs. There's, there's no, you like Nietzsche would say, the two, the two, two drugs. Yeah. But there's no, um, because th there's no cultural centers there. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Uh, so they have to go to Cape Town or Joburg. You know, mm -hmm. and right now, I mean, if you if you want to look, if you check it right now, house music out of Job out of house music out of South Africa in general, mm -hmm. wherever in Joburg specific, and fashion. You know. Mm -hmm. You go to you go to you go to England right now. I'm telling you, do that, that's it. You know, my, my woman's a fashion designer. Mm -hmm. She's amazing. You know, mm -hmm. uh, so what I'm what I'm trying to say is those, those are really uh, those are, um, those are, uh, economic or cultural things that go out, but they, but they have to go to those centers to to do that. Mm -hmm. However, the initiative I'm working with with audio drama because I'm doing I'm doing a, a research master's mm -hmm. and also research PhD. I'm using audio drama. And one of the things, because I'm, I have to be principal in my research thing, I'm, I've taught some folks how to do audio drama. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm working at a, uh, I have a research group at a place called Dimbaza. Mm -hmm. It's a township uh, where they used to dump people from Robin Island. They used to just dump them in the oh, middle oh, of no oh, place. Oh, called, okay. There's a famous film called Glass Grave at Dimbaza. Mm -hmm. It costs a lot of money. I'm trying to get it. I can get it here in New York. I'm going to have to just bite the bullets, like 300 some of them to get this this film. It's a classic film. They oh. did surreptitiously. Um, the way they had to, well, I won't get into that. But right now in Dubai, like I said, they have the thing. That all they can do is alcohol and religion. Mm -hmm. But we've introduced audio drama. Mm -hmm. And because of the way audio drama is, think about it this way. If you can create a, a virtual world, then you can perhaps step into that virtual world. But this yeah. virtual world, audio drama, has all the cultural components and everything that you need. So, the, so, so now the, the, the kids, if you, I'm saying the kids, the kids, if you will, yeah. they have a third choice. And this third choice uh, has includes all the culture because in the audio drama, for instance, they can still do their fashion show. They do, they're doing fashion show now where they have the gowns and whatever have you, but instead of having the women have heels, stuff like, they wear sneakers, they wear tennis shoes. <laughs> you, you get it? They don't have, they don't wear the uh, stumbling and falling on the, no, they're wearing tennis shoes and they still have the, the gowns and the, 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 the thing, I guess, I, I, I haven't seen one of the other, I guess they're going to do the swimsuit things the same, no, same way, but they're not wearing those heels like that, no. Yeah. I, I went to a wedding where the bride and groom wore tennis shoes uh, or sneakers, you you know, because it was in their colors, you know. <laughs> so, yeah. so, 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 yeah. what I'm trying to say is that so, so this this is yeah. brand new. That I'm, I'm I'm basically introducing this because I've been in the culture long enough that they can't hoodwink me. Mm -hmm. You know, like this last time you're gonna, oh brother, welcome home, blah blah blah. They don't want you in their clan. <laughs> they just, you know, and usually look at you as the dollar sign or whatever have you. So they mm -hmm. can't do that with me any yeah. longer. And in fact, when, um, in fact, they have clan affiliations. You, you know, in like for instance, in the coastal culture, you might have the Duna clan and the and the, and the, and the Mavuso clan. We you know different clans in that thing. Then you have the chief, and they have the traditional uh, leaders, right? Mm -hmm. And I, in fact, I, I'm sorry, I have to go off. I have to say, yeah. and I was thinking, I say, wait a second, everybody has a clan. What's my clan? Yeah. I remember. Because of my, I don't know who my father was, but Baba is Pierre tells he's probably from the Garifuna people. Da da da. Plus, yeah. you know, get the whole European line in there. You have the American Indian line in there. Yeah. But the only thing that I said, okay, I, I, you'll see my, you, you get email from him. I'm from the Middle Passage clan. <laughs> I'm from the Middle Passage clan. I know all these people doing their genetic thing. Oh, I'm 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 from the Ivory Coast. I'm from Ghana, from wherever they're, they're from. Yeah, but you don't know what clan you're from exactly. Yeah. And even if you knew that. If you're really truly an African American, then you got to trace your, you know, your Irish or your European clan. You got to yeah. trace your, so you, yeah. so everybody's been through this middle passage clan. So I'm yeah. that through, yeah. this, yeah. through uh, Caribbean, you know, South Central America, and South America. Yeah. We're all from the middle passage clan. So that's yeah. my clan affiliation. Yeah. So I got that, I got that knocked. They can't do it. Then they try to give you an African name, and I say, okay, uh, wait a second, I have an African name. So what's your African name? I said, well. The Anglo root of my first name, Anthony, is incomparable, no comparison. Yeah. And the Anglo root of my last name, Sloan, is warrior. So whatever 
whatever in your African d language dialect that means incomparable warrior, that's my African name. <laughs> and that blows their mind, you see? Because the problem is people don't think. They're not precise in their language. Mm -hmm. and, they, and, they, and, they, and they try to, and they try to they take, I don't know what they take, and they, okay? One more last thing, because this is a positive thing also. I'm, I, think, I think of that as a positive thing. Yeah. You know, Let me do this as a good. positive thing. WBAI 99.5 FM New York, and on the internet at WBAI.org, it is 3.31. A reminder that we get out of here at 4 o'clock. Uh, yeah. That means I got to stop talking. <laughs> I got to talk real fast. I'm in New York. I can talk fast. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Here's, here's a, and then we can, you can ask this question. Yeah. This is important to me. There's this whole thing about Pan-Africanism. In fact, I'm, I just got the sister was on the air, and I just bought her book about Booker T. Washington and Pan-Africanism. Mm -hmm. You know, go from yeah. Blyden, all of that yeah. stuff. You, you know, yeah. Pan-Africanism. Yeah. And, I, and I tell, and I'm on university, you know, and I had this blazing argument with this brother. Yeah, well, yeah, Pan-Africanism, blah, 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 blah. I said, look, I agree with the tenets of Pan-Africanism, but not the way y'all are doing it. I don't believe in Pan-Africanism like that. Mm -hmm. I, I said, because what you're doing, you still, you still have the borders that they drew. Mm -hmm. And you're trying to bring the nations together under, under pan -Africanism. I said, no, it's, 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 you're trying to make a United Nations of Africa or United States of Africa, whatever have you. Mm -hmm. I'm saying, I say, if any, it's United Cultures of Africa, and those cultures are mutable. They, they, they morph around. Mm -hmm. So there are no borders. Right now, I was listening to Democracy Now! or something like that, and they say that the, 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 there's a film out, uh, We Come as Friends, or something like that, whatever it is. And they said they drew the border. With North, with the Sudan, South Sudan, or whatever, mm -hmm. and it's strange enough that border is right along the oil line. <laughs> so you know, so when they draw these borders, when they draw these borders, they not only they're not real, but they're not they're not going to feed into your. You still you still in their on their hamster wheel is what I'm trying yeah, to say. Yeah. So my I, I keep the tenets of Pan Africanism, but yeah. I say no more borders, which goes to what you were talking about. And one of the things the borders can be erased immediately is this thing called. The Sadic nations. Yeah. The, the, this is all the Southern African about, about 14, 12, 13, 14 countries, including Madagascar, by the way. I hate it. Af um, I hate ma maps of Africa that don't have Madagascar on it. Yeah. Oh, I get upset. Yeah. I just. Santo Man and, and the others do. Uh, yeah, I, I, we, we, can, we can go to we're, Cape we're, the Verdes and whatever, <laughs> but my point is yeah. at least give me I some Madagascar, Madagascar so, you know, because I can't yeah. see whatever. Yeah. Okay. So they can erase their borders immediately. You know what yeah, I mean? If yeah. they if they wanted to, and that's a yeah. very rich area. Yeah. You was bringing up something. Tell, tell me what you what you was talking about. I'm not, I'm not, I don't know about it yet. Oh, uh, the um, the African Union uh, has announced uh, that there are plans then afoot to create a, a African free trade zone that would encompass than a number of countries. It's not uh, continent-wide yet, but it, it encompasses uh, a number of countries running from South Africa, then I think it is up to Egypt. It's kind of taking that middle swath uh, of Africa. So some some countries you know, on the west, some on the east, uh, are then not yet a, a part of the program. But I figure that it's only a matter of time. And, you know, okay, okay. Yeah. I, I don't know about that, mm -hmm. but I will tell you this. The, 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 the biggest economies, this reported, um, I'm, I don't pay a lot of attention mm -hmm. to this because my research is not in that area, is uh, Kenya, mm -hmm. Nigeria, of course, mm -hmm. South Africa. If the if they would leave DRC alone, stop ripping them off for their whatever blood col yeah. blood coltan to whatever they, 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 yeah. poor poor DRC. But and then of course, and, oh, let uh, me not get off on this. You well, 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 I I look at DRC uh, as not them but us okay. because if if we would it's the same thing with with South uh, South Sudan you know. Sudan, the, the, the folks in the south fighting the north for independence, or, or let me say, for inclusion, you know, to be full citizens. Okay, that didn't work, so they say, give us our own nation. And uh, they are a nation for a year, they, they, they fall into civil war, mm. you know. And I'm saying, it's not, yeah, okay, uh, Exxon 
you know, US, you know, whoever wants me to fight you. That's it. But it, it, I am fighting you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Why? Oh, oh, don't get me started on this, but let me, let me finish this thought here. Let yeah. me finish this so you have those nations, plus you have Angola, you know what I mean? And we yeah. want, you know, we, we, uh, yeah. I'm even going to throw, uh, you know, um, 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 Zimbabwe and, 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 and Mozambique, this is very rich. So if those, those if they have some sort of free trade mm -hmm. uh, of, or, or breaking down of borders, that would really be excellent. Yeah. And it goes through, it goes through merchants anyway. I mean, that, that, that's, yeah. what, that, that's what does it. But this, I have to say this, I'm, I'm sorry, this is, yeah. this, cause this upset, I did, a, I, I do these commentaries online. You know, if you look up Anthony Sloan, Anthony J. Sloan, YouTube channel, You'll get my commentary. I have like 120, something like that. I, yeah. I play as an old man. I do these commentary. <laughs> and one of the commentaries I did was White Cracker Christians, mm -hmm. you know? And really it's about like, about, I'm, I'm just going to make up a number. About 15 years ago, when the AIDS epidemic was really huge in Uganda, yeah. Yeah. They, they put it under control by having, by, by using condoms, right? Mm -hmm. so fast forward to now, we got these, these leaders that in, that, that in the Uganda now, they went and got indoctrinated by these Southern Christians, these mm -hmm. fundamental, you know, these, these yeah. cracker Christians. I'm just yeah. going to say, say it the way I'm going to say it. These yeah. fundamental, you know, blah, blah, blah. And now they come back and make laws against gay people. Mm -hmm. I don't care what you think about gays, whatever it is, but for me, these these crackers have 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 convinced these Africans to kill other Africans. Yeah. And I'm sorry. That's the, I'm trying to say. It's the same thing as the oil companies or whatever have have you kill other Africans for what purpose? Yeah. The purpose is so they can do their power grab, their land grab, whatever they want to do. Yeah. I'm going back to the land grab. I'm going back to the money. I'm going back to if it's not humane, if it's not about justice, I don't want to hear it. Okay, I don't care if you don't like who that who's boinking who who's who's you know calling people. I don't care, you know. That's yeah. so that's so the positive thing is that if that that probably is going to happen, it has to happen. You know what I mean? Plus you get the it's BRICS company, you get the yeah. BRICS, you get the BRICS companies. You know, this is Brazil, Russia, uh, um, China, India, South yeah. Africa. So there's a lot of stuff going on, you know, and, yeah. and stuff like that. And, and uh, I, I don't know if you're aware, but uh, there are a couple of automobile manufacturing companies. Uh, I, I know of at least one in Nigeria and one in Ghana. Mm. Uh, I, I think a third one I saw where it, it, it's really like a, uh, like a mom and pop car man they do everything by hand. <laughs> that, yeah. you know, hey, but, but they're on. making I mean like uh, they 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 they're making automobiles uh, and again in Africa uh, something else uh, they say that uh, of the ten fastest growing economies in the world seven of them are in in Africa yes of you course know? and I, you yeah. know I think it's inevitable that uh, you're going to have th 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 this movement you know that is it might be done. Uh, let me say at the prompting of external forces, but ultimately it's going to be. Oh know, yeah, it's yeah. going to be done. Everybody wants yeah. to. Everybody wants to have a foot. In fact, let me let me go back into the medieval times. You know, I mean, let me mm -hmm. let me let me go back to your, every since everybody loves the love white supremacy so much. Let me say what how they how how you do it. Okay. Back then, you know, you had a family, right? Mm -hmm. And then what they would send one 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 son would be one son would become the mayor of the town or some politician. One son would become, uh, you know, a military person. Another son would become the priest, and that and all, all down the line. Well, I think we can do the same thing in America. You got you got six six people in your family. You know, you all want to stay here and start and fight the good fight. Great. Send one of your sons or daughters to Africa. <laughs> To, you know, yeah. So you have a connection. This is what the this is what the, in India does. Yeah. They, they, you you see these these Indians were working in the motels, whatever they're working in, and they have extended families. They send them. You go to India, they have palatial estates. Yeah. You know, so every every culture does it. So I'm all I'm saying is is it, and believe me, Af 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 Americans, African Americans, are very well respected in Africa. In, 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 in the world, world. In, 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 uh, in the say, world, I, that's true. Every place I go, believe me, there's no like I said, there's no xenophobia against me. Yeah, you know, they say, hey, I like the way you talk, blah blah blah, <laughs> and plus they want to know, they want to know the real deal. 
and, and that is what I'm saying. Uh, that I, I think, you know, um, the the levels of respect. Uh, that is, uh, the the folks in the neighborhood will fight each other quicker mm. than the person who comes from out of the neighborhood mm. who we see as an authority as quote unquote better than ourselves and I think that that is one of the things that is at play with um, you said people from from the subcontinent whether it's uh, India Pakistan I'm, I'm sure you have uh, people from the Middle East uh, other uh, black people who are not from Africa mm. doing business in South Africa without any problems and maybe doing the same thing uh, the people from Somalia or from Ethiopia or wherever else they are from doing the same thing but because they are living amongst the people then they don't have any ranking as such in terms of a, a, a particular respect and they are the ones who you see it's, it's no different than they say uh, you know boss kicks man he doesn't kick the boss back. He comes mm -hmm. home. He kicks the wife. That's and, and that's it, what that is the. And that's why you have this problem with the alcohol too. You know, the South yeah. Africa just surpassed Australia in, in the number one drinking. And how do you do that? I have no idea how you do that. But they do it. It's cheap alcohol too. I, let me let me let me just. I'm glad you brought that up because it also brings to mind this thing. I'm 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 saying something else too. The young people or mm -hmm. the people know now. They, they, there is a consciousness. You, you, I'm just forget social media, whatever. But people know they have the information. And again, let's, I'm reading this book here. Remember when we when we got out of our slavery situation? The first thing we did was that education thing. Even if you couldn't read, you learn how to read. Well, you can still do that now. Yeah. You can learn how to read, or you can. Your education is not just because you you need to. Everybody's talking about they want to go to college or whatever, have your you know trade school. And guess what? Wherever you walk is your education. So come on, people. Let's let's think about this. You can't be saying that oh the white man did this or blah da da da. You can, you know, and it's true. White supremacy yeah. is is real, you know. Yeah. You know, and, and the racial divide is real. Or racism is real. Uh, racism, false construct, but racism is real. The the, yeah. the consequence of of, of, of of this false construct is real. And and, and 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 white supremacy, you know, doing their thing, and they'll continue to do their thing. But we know about that. So it's, it's not. I can't. I can't blame. I can't blame them for for doing their thing. I, I, and I, I certainly can't blame me for being the victim. But I can't blame me for continuing to be the victim. That's my problem. <laughs> you, <laughs> you know, know? I, I, uh, wait, I, 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 I cut myself out. But um, I had the opportunity of visiting. Uh, a maroon community in Jamaica. Oh, man. They, they, so good. The, the Leeward, um, they're, they're called the Leeward Maroons, uh, where uh, uh, this woman, uh, Queen Nanny, who is uh, a national hero in Jamaica, where she was the leader of uh, the, the community when they were fighting the British. Mm -hmm. Not for independence, as I was told by um, uh, this gentleman, Mr. Lumsden. He passed away recently, too. but. He brought this awareness to me that the Maroon community did not win their independence when they fought the British. They were fighting the British to maintain their independence. They were already mm. independent. Mm. Uh, it is just that the, the British acknowledged that they were independent when they couldn't beat them. Uh, so what I learned from that was that until we make a decision that we are free not that we want to be free but that we are free and then begin to do the things that people do as free peoples to maintain their freedom we'll always be talking about what they do or what they want as opposed to what we want and what we are doing and what we intend to do to maintain and I, I think that that is part of this uh, when, when charter schools are mentioned uh, we complain, say, well, you know, they're not educating our children, but we still insist on sending our children to their schools. Mm. Uh, and, and I think that until we 
assume the responsibility for ourselves, irrespective of what other people are saying or doing to us. It is what we begin to do to and for ourselves, I think, that will ultimately, let me say, bear the fruits that we, we want. You know, as I say, the, the, the fruits of freedom is what we'd love to pick and eat, yeah. as, as uh, the lyrics in the song say. So, you know, that's it. Well, I guess we're coming to the end, but let, um, so I'll let you have the last word, the last song, whatever it is, but I need to just say this one thing, to bring it right back. We have a little time, you know, we have about, what is it? Uh, let me say, we have about seven minutes. Okay, no, this is very, this is very quick. I want to give it right back to the jump theory, what I was saying. Because it's just out, out of what you just said. It's simple for me. A lot of times people, because I, I, you know, I write. And, and so people, and, and when, I, when I come across somebody that's writing poetry, whatever they're writing, they say, well, you know, I'm da-da-da-da-da. I'm just, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just learning. I'm not really a writer. I said, wait a second. If you write, then you're a writer. <laughs> what, what, are you, what are you talking about? Embrace it. No, it's just like you, if you if you tell me that you can't do something, then I I, I I believe you. If you tell me you can do something, then well, I believe you. So yeah. th so, so it's exactly what, you, what 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 you're saying. Yes, you have to you have to do you have to do the writing, or you have to do the it that 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 you that you claim that you are yeah. science whatever you are, but. You can't, you can't not, you can't, you, if you start denying it before you, as you're doing it, it doesn't, you know, it's kind of strange, you know yeah. what I mean? You have to fully embrace it. And even, even if they tell you, if somebody else tells you you're not a writer, yeah. you don't have to listen to them. Uh, that, that, That's that your is, jump. That. You are the one jumping. They're not jumping, they're yeah. not jumping. They, if anything, yeah. they're going to jump on you to stop you from jumping. Yeah. But precise, as you mentioned earlier about the, the 21 day step, the, the thing that you put out and the and what you actually do. And I think that that is it, that uh, I think too often within our communities, within our uh, collective psyche, uh, we still have this notion of victimization, you know, because I, I hear people talk. Uh, I remember, matter of fact, speaking with a caller. Uh, and saying, uh, you know, I say, I'm absolutely confident that black people will not be in the condition that we are in today forever. And she said, I hope so. <laughs> I said, well, oh, boy. I said well, then you don't believe. You, <laughs> you don't believe. If you, if you talk about hoping, you know, you say, you know I'm, I'm, I'm going to, you know, I'm going downstairs. I don't hope to go down. I'm going downstairs. And we, it, it, let me say, then if I don't reach, that's okay. But my intention is not. I'm not starting out with any doubts in my mind. You know, and I'm I'm planning accordingly. But uh, the the idea I think that we have and and manifested is we say, well, uh, let us do so and so, and we say, well, what, but if we try to do that, they are going to. Uh, th this is what they're going to do to counteract us. Th therefore, we we don't do anything because well, then, <laughs> then, then, then you, you're not if you, then you're not acknowledging the rules of chess. Which, if you know they're going to do something, well, then you suppose to know the counter. Look, uh, don't get me wrong, because it's very real that 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 the that the cops all over the place or whatever have you, yeah. you know, they're they're killing you know the, the new clan. They say the new Jim Crow is the new clan where they just kill black people or whatever whatever, whatever they're doing. I understand that. I'm yeah. not saying that that's not real, you know. But yeah. again, the reason you have to say instead of focusing on it, you say, okay, well, what's the reason they're doing that? And then you find out the reason they're doing that is because, because again, let's go back to the bankers. The bankers have taken them, they have bankrupt the city, so that the the the, the 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 city can't pay the cops. So then, then they say, well, look, if you victimize these these people who have no power, then we can get the money from them. We can fleece them. Better. So then, then, then you understand? Well, I shouldn't be fighting yeah. the cops. I need to again, you take Eric Holder and, and who's now working back with the bankers. And choke him. I'm talking. I'm, 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 I didn't mean that. I didn't, no, no, don't come at them. I'm sorry. I, I meant, and, and, and talk to the brother. You see? And then, then, then it's in other words, the young people are not supposed to, the young people can do what they're doing. But you, 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 you as an older person, our generation, if yeah. Eric Holder is my age or your, whatever his age, yeah. then you should be talking to Eric Holder. You don't have to be on the marching line. You should be talking to Eric Holder. You should be talking to those people and, and straighten them boys out. And I think that is also part of, let me say, the evolution of the community, where uh, 
without necessarily having to sit at the table and discuss. Mm. I mean, we, we ought to, as they say, we ought to be on the same page uh, where, regardless, it's one of the things I say of myself is that I don't care who the individual is. I, I may not agree with their politics. I may not agree with everything they then do or say. But if they're defending the dignity of black people, I support them. You know, and I, I, I think, and that is what I mean, that we don't have to necessarily get in a room and, and um, you know, and, and talk and hash things out. That is maybe what organizations would do. But being on board in terms of saying, hey, that seemed reasonable, it's okay. Uh, that, I don't like that, you can say, without looking to cut uh, yeah, that's right. somebody apart. You be know. polite. Be, be, be very be polite. <laughs> be, oh, no, I like it better. Be very polite. Yeah, no, no, no. It's no, no. absolutely right. I, I really mean that. I, I'm sorry. Yeah. I, take, I really take that back. <laughs> because even Clarence Thomas said, hey, you can't take you, the black person, but the black man, old black man need to have his gun. Even yeah. Clarence. <laughs> it's, it's, oh. all, it's all about strategy and tactics. That's all it is. Strategy it, and tactics. It, it's one of the things, uh, as an aside, not um, front and center, but I say, you know, people talk about wanting gun control. You want gun control? Let black people start advocating that every black person who is of <laughs> a legal age become members of the NRA oh boy. and uh, get a license to own a gun. And all of a sudden, <laughs> you'll have. <laughs> you'll have no, no, let's, let's call it gun responsibility. You'll have gun yes, responsibility. Look here, that, that is it. You know, say, so yeah, if, because I, I, I still remember um, the, the evening news uh, when. Uh, Huey Newton and mm. Bobby Seale and mm. others walked into the Oakland mm. what is it, City Council mm. with, with their shotguns mm. and, and, and the, the, the reaction because everybody expected them to shoot up the giant but there is an open carry. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I'm not, I mean, but as, as an aside, not, not as something fundamental, because I, I think that there are more <laughs> fundamental yeah. issues, as you mentioned, banks yeah. and controlling finances and controlling thinking, Look, if, education, if, so on. The, the, the reason why I went to this blockchain protocol and this whole mm -hmm. thing, you know, the, mm -hmm. the, the, the cryptocurrency, is because it's, 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 almost, it's new. Mm -hmm. And if, if it's new, it, look, if you have to learn the new Windows 10 or whatever it is, then you might well learn the new, the new. If you can learn the Windows, the new Windows 10, or the new, the new Android, whatever you're learning, then you can certainly learn the new monetary system. So you can be there as if you're at the table when it starts. Then you'll have some more knowledge. So let's yeah. do that. At least do that. Uh, at least, at least, and and uh, whatever it is, you know, uh, there's a, there's a. Uh, a quote from the Bible that says, there is no speech or language where their voice is not heard. And that is what I'm saying of mm. black people. That is, anything humane that is happening on this planet, we should be involved in it. You know, and, and because of the perspective that we'll be coming from, that is, we cannot guarantee the humanity or the humaneness of anybody else but we would be coming from that of being anti-oppression uh, and, and looking, as you say, for justice, being totally dedicated to that. that. That is our main motivation, that we're not oppressing and we're not being unjust. And, and I, you know, but everything else you're involved in, because uh, I, I, I think, you know, the, the, the things we say, for example, that, you know, uh, we, we built the pyramids and people still don't know how to do it and we are the, the, the developers of science and philosophy and so on. And, mm. and, uh, uh, so, so what? We, we can't do it again? It's heavier than that. You know, you know the, we made perfumes and if you open, if they open these things, every once in a while they open the, 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 the thing yeah. and they can still smell the perfume of like two, three thousand yeah. years ago. Yeah. So if you, you yeah. come on yeah. and you know the paint, you yeah. know, John had yeah. talked about the oil. Yeah. Uh, Okay, look, um, let me just say this. Uh, Hapte, uh, I want to thank you profusely and profoundly yeah. uh, for having this. I'll, I'll continue discussion because when I was here four years ago, we had a discussion. Yeah. And it's interesting because one of my, I don't want to say, yeah, there's been four years, I think, since we, we, yeah. we talked on the ALS. Yeah. But it's interesting because um, 
I've had so many, so many experiences. Like, and people don't take advantage of my experiences. <laughs> yeah, I say, well, it's, I guess because I'm just under the, under the radar or something like that. Yeah, it, it, it's they say um, it's the same. Where I guess maybe where we started, you know, that is in the neighborhood. Hey, you he, he just uh, you just another brother. Mm, so you yeah, know, uh, uh, but if if uh, if you weren't a part of the neighborhood, if you weren't a part of the community, then we would, let me say, hold you in higher esteem and seek your wisdom and so on. But they said the prophet isn't ever accepted in his own country. So, uh, as I say, uh, welcome. Good to see you, Anthony. Uh, uh, it's, uh, it's good to be seen, <laughs> That reminds me, uh, you know, uh, the first time I heard it where somebody said, uh, excuse me, and the person said, you're excusable. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's like that, but not like that. But, uh, Anthony, thank you very much for coming in, man. Good to see you. Sure. And uh, I, let me say, as uh, Mr. Douglas said, this discussion will continue. And uh, you've been listening to Labrish. My name is Hapta Selassie. We'll be back next week with another edition of the program. Labrish is produced by Ian Forrest, who can be heard this Monday morning at 3 o'clock doing his own program, Connections, and is a The Jazz Mat production. Uh, remember to tell the people whom you love that you love them and show affection. With love, we'll find unity and strength. One love. What good? Mr. Tosh, please. <laughs>